Hello everyone, this is Tyler coming to you from THJ Coffee. Why is Switzerland the coffee capital of the world? This actually is a country that very until very recently was not on the radar of most coffee connoisseurs. Now note that in 2005 Switzerland had a coffee consum a coffee exportation rate of about 150 million dollars uh, annually of um, export. Now, fast forward eight years to 2013, this rate had roughly um, gone up 15 times to over $2 billion worth of export GDP, which is quite staggering considering that Switzerland has a population of just 8 million people. Now, let's compare that to Italy, which has a population of over 60 million people, but surprisingly enough, it um, makes far less in, in GDP revenue from coffee exports, um, which is for a few different reasons. Okay, so um, Switzer, Switzerland ranked number four in 2013 behind countries like Germany, Japan, Brazil. And as you guys can note here, these three countries have much larger populations than than Switzerland. Okay. Now, Switzerland, um, as I said, they didn't process nearly as many beans as Italy. They actually processed about, um, or Italy processed about four times more raw coffee beans than Switzerland, but the rate of exportation was much lower in Italy. Now, Switzerland also is a um, it's a capital to uh, many many major corporations such as Nestle, and it's also a trade capital. It has um, advantageous tax rates for corporations, and it's also a big um, like commodity capital. I think Switzerland's often um, associated with diamonds and watches and things like that. More so watches, but all, also like diamonds and gold. So. In, in the case with uh, Nestle, Nestle Espresso is one of the leading um, co preferred coffee brands around the world. And Nestle Espresso is a, a product that has a very high profit margin for Nestle. Now, the coffee capsule um, trend started taking root about mid-2000s. And from that point on, it's it's became a very big um, money making um, coffee for for Nestle. Now, the other area that um, that um, plays into uh, w with Switzerland, as I said, is its maritime um, orientation. It's it's located in Central Europe, Europe, and it, it has just the um, very um, advantageous tax rates. Now, it's estimated that. Of all the food, beverage, um, tobacco exports, coffee is about 25% of the Swiss GDP um, within this segment. So it's it's a very like um, important area for for um, uh, Switzerland. Now, going back to um, Switzerland and how they turn a little coffee into a lot of money, as I said. They are able to make about eighteen dollars seventy five cents per pound of coffee compared to the average, which is about four dollars in um in most countries um for um Finnish goods for Finnish coffee export now also keep in mind when we're discussing coffee exports here, we're referring to the Finnish coffee product. Once the beans have been roasted and everything's been done, this isn't like the raw coffee being straight from from the forest. That that's um, a different part of the the cycle. Now, um, by um, Switzerland maximizing their um, export quantity by focusing on the Nest Espresso has been probably the most tremendous um, area for for this country and also. Keep in mind that um, this also encompasses like instant coffee. Switzerland is a big country of um, you, you think of Nestle and 
um, instant coffee also a major um, like profit margin type of product because when you think of like instant coffee like there's different processes here but you don't with instant coffee it's a much more efficient process on for the um these coffee processors so they don't lose this much of the bean and it it just ends up being a more um it it, it generates a lot more um profit at, at the end per the amount of input that's um, put into it. So profit margin is, is very high for for instant coffees and, and Nestle also has um, a whole line of instant coffees that, that does exceptionally well. Now, lastly is the US, Germany, and Italy combined imports about 48% of raw coffee. Switzerland, on the other hand, imports about 2%. So on a global basis, Switzerland has a very advantageous and um, just exceptional ability to, to monetize this product and to um, create a sustainable ecosystem and um, generate more jobs and, and income for the country. So thanks for watching this video, everyone, and please subscribe.